Buckle up, boys and girls. You're about to find out everything about High School Musical Season 3 on Disney+, Plus, the show that brought us Nene and Ricky and their love story set to exciting music that you can listen to over and over again is back on our screens. Stick around till the end of this video to get up to date with your favorite high school TV show, which has just been renewed for its third season. First up, when is Season 3 coming out? Aren't you just desperate for Season 3 to come out? This show is based on the original High School Musical movies. It's a total hit with fans like yourself, and it's not leaving your screens anytime soon. Season 2 has just finished at the end of May 2021. Luckily, there aren't as many restrictions as last year. This means that Season 3 is going to come out sooner than you think. Listen up, Wildcats! On the 13th of September, Disney Plus has announced the renewal of High School Musical The Musical The Series. On their Twitter page, they've tweeted this, Buckle up for Season 3, Wildcats! Unfortunately, a release date hasn't been given yet, but it's not coming out in 2021. You're going to have to wait till next year. But nothing is set in stone yet. There is a big chance that Disney Plus is going to surprise you all by giving you a Christmas treat. All you can be sure of is that there's going to be a weekly episode instead of them all being released at the same time. Next, how did Season 2 end? Season 2 has picked up exactly where things ended in Season 1. Nini decides to accept the offer at the Youth Actors Conservatory. She wants to study music there and keep her relationship with Ricky at the same time. This complicates things between them. Distance is never a good thing for any couple. Don't you agree? Think about High School Musical 2, where Gabriella and Troy try to sort things out before going off to college. It's just one big disaster for them. Troy wanted to take his basketball scholarship, but Gabriella left him because she couldn't get her way. College gets in the way of high school romances. In the case of Nini and Ricky, hopefully the same fate doesn't lie in store for them, but I couldn't get my hopes up. Apart from their shaky relationship, season two focuses on Miss Jen's spring production, Beauty and the Beast. What a blast that was! Couldn't do it better myself, how about you? Season two ends things with East High pulling out of the Alan Menken Awards for High School Musical Theater. Hopefully the next season can save East High from embarrassment. Next up, what is going to happen in season three? The showrunner, Tim Federal, has revealed that season three is picking up right where season two has finished. He decides to do this because that is what viewers expect from streaming TV shows. They don't want to miss a thing, not even one conversation or facial expression. There is potential for East High to focus on its next winter musical. They're planning on making a success of it. On the subject of relationships, poor Nini and Ricky are predicted to split up. Luckily, love is not on the rocks for other couples. EJ and Gina are still dating and have worked their problems out. Carlos and Seb are still going strong. Then Courtney and Howie are still together, but Big Red and Ashlyn are struggling. Rumor has it that they're not gonna last, as Big Red has his eyes on a new lady. It's also been hinted that Lily and Ricky are interested in each other. Ooh, Nini will not like that at all, will she? There are definitely going to be some cat fights ahead. That will be fun to watch, won't it? Then there's Mr. Mazzara. He's declining his new job offer to be with the love of his life, Miss Jen. Aw, isn't that sweet? This is giving Mr. Schuster and Miss Pillberry vibes from Glee. How about you? Gina's brother Jamie and Nini are going to work together on original music. Do you think there's something more than friendship between those two? Are there going to be any new characters? Where can you watch it? We'll cover these questions and more right now, so get comfy. Next, are there going to be any new characters? One of the best things about this show is that the cast is actually teenagers and not 20 or 30 year olds acting as if they're teenagers, but they are the real deal. They're people you can relate to if you're a teenager. In any case, this show caters to adults too, especially parents who want to understand their kids a bit better. For a fact, we know that Ricky, played by Joshua Bassett, is returning, followed by EJ, played by Matt Cornette, Gina, played by Sophia Wiley, Big Red, played by Larry Saperstein, Ashlyn, played by Julia Lester, Courtney, played by Dara Renee, Carlos, played by Frankie Rodriguez, and Joe Saradini as Seb. Guess what? Jamie, played by Jordan Fisher, is getting a much bigger role in season three. That's awesome news, isn't it? He's so much fun to watch, and he has a great voice, too. You're also going to see your two favorite East High teachers return. Mr. Benjamin Mazzara, played by Mark St. Cyr, 
Lightyear, and Miss Jen, played by Kate Reinders. You can bet your bottom dollar that Howie, played by Roman Banks, and Zack, played by Derek Howe, are going to be back with their hot bodies. I bet you can't get enough of that, can you? Apart from all the main characters reprising their roles, there are going to be some new pretty faces to grace your screens. Fans are concerned that Nini, played by Olivia Rodrigo, isn't coming back. She's a pop star now and doesn't really need High School Musical to boost her acting career any further. Her famous songs from the album Sour include Traitor, Brutal, One Step Forward, Three Steps Back, Jealousy, Jealousy. From the titles of these songs and the name of the album, she clearly enjoyed her time on High School Musical. In May 2021, shortly after the release of season two, Olivia let everyone know that she's committed to the show for another two years. Let's hope she sticks to her words. It doesn't sound like she's planning on staying, but you really can't take her word for it. She's treacherous. Who wouldn't choose a pop star career worth millions compared to a silly old role as a high school student? I know I wouldn't. How about you? The producer Tim Federal tells us that he has a ton of respect for Olivia, especially the songwriter that she is. He also thinks that she's a wonderful human being, even though she's abandoning him, who has given her bread and butter and an amazing career in show business. Good riddance, as Federal puts it. He's ending her storyline then and there. Are you guys sad about Olivia leaving the show or not? She sounds like a backstabber to me. Next off, how about the soundtrack of season three? What's in store for us? Tim Federal hasn't revealed what the musical is going to be about in season three. He suggests that there are countless possibilities that makes it hard for him to choose from. Either he will choose something that already exists, or he will create an entirely new musical. The writers of the new songs are Nini, Ashlyn, and the rest of the characters. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? We can all do with a brand new musical, can't we? The musical in season one is out of this world. Beauty and the Beast in season two is breathtaking. What's next? Give us your predictions down below in the comment section. It's obvious that season three is playing off in winter, meaning that it's going to be a winter musical. How about using Frozen as musical inspiration? It is Disney after all, which means they have easier access and more money to be able to buy rights to the songs. Or does having Frozen as a theme sound too extreme for the high school musical series? Of course, not all the songs of season three are going to be original. Songs from the original high school musical two and three are going to be used. Those are classics, right? What's the high school musical TV show without the legendary movies that everyone loves? Keep on listening to interviews with the cast of the show. They sometimes can't keep their mouths shut. For example, Olivia let it slip in season one that Beauty and the Beast is the musical in season two. So much for keeping a secret, girl. But we're not complaining. Tell us some more secrets about season three. We're begging you on our hands and knees. Next, we have the trailer. Is there one yet? There is no trailer yet, but watch out. It's going to come out sooner than you might think. By November, they're going to release the first sneak peek of season three. That's fantastic news, isn't it? Last on our list, where can you watch it? Disney Plus is the way to go. Keep looking for it. In the meantime, go and rewatch seasons one and two. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and leave us a comment.